All right. Compared to the start of the previous video where I was in the pits of despair and reduced to nothing in short order, I'm somehow in the lead. I've gone beyond trying to work out what on earth this game is and what it's doing. This is, beyond a shadow of any doubt, the most chaotic the strangest, weirdest, most chaotic incarnation of Mario Party you could imagine. Fantastic, we're back to roll and we're back to moving at the speed of continental drift. I need... Alright, running of the bulb. Who's got the bulb? I do. Excuse me just a moment. But I just want a little moment of catharsis. It doesn't do anything, but I'm just determined to screw everyone over. I have just... <laughs> I've just lost it. I'm... God, I'm bewildered. I'm trying to make sense of it all. Mario Party doesn't have logic. I just woke up and chose violence that game. As opposed to... A, as opposed to a performer in an orchestra who wakes up and chooses violins. Mario's found a hidden block, and it, it's boo. Alright, at least you can't take my star. Fine, be that way. Can I get out of here? Oh, my, my move has screwed Wario out of a star. That act of petty dickery has left him short by one coin. Because of Bowser. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That is really lovely. I know, two coins, but still. And Bowser does his P-dance to mock the... He's short by two coins, all because I ran into the boo. <laughs> the evil... Oh, I know, and... Oh, come on. Oh, please get this wrong. Please get this wrong. Please get this wrong. Away we go. The AI should get this right, admittedly. Nope. They ate him! <laughs> The ghosts ate the fat man! <laughs> that's why <laughs> That's why I wanted Wario to lose. Probably because that line just made me laugh out loud. It was ironically, it was appropriately enough, this game and the Runaway Guys playthrough of it that ultimately made me think, I'd love to do this someday. Well, I'm certainly moving fast enough to get out of here. We've gone back... We have gone back to regular programming. Alright, now this time if I've got the key, I'm not screwing up. Okay. Right, we are... I could be a jerk and I could just throw it to the Spike Coopers. But I need the money as well. Right, DK, run interference. Mario! Right, guys, run it and thank you. Good teamwork. I thought Mario was just holding me up, but the Spike Koopa was pushing Mario into me. And Luigi does his sweet break dance. That's something I do actually like about Luigi, the sweet little break dance you get. There are so many... Like, those older games had so many good animations. But yeah. I need to ditch some coins fast. Because Mario's probably... DK's going to get the mushroom. But yeah, wa watching the Runaway Guys did make me want to do this in the first place. I know I'm never going to be particularly famous or anywhere near as beloved as they are, but it's just... I wish I could actually get the chance to tell them. Just... They've actually pulled me out of some pretty dark places being able to watch their stuff. It's incredible. I'm really grateful for them. Honestly. 
I'm grateful that there's, there have been so many great entertainers out there. I'm really, really happy to see all of them. I've just, I've just adored every moment of it, really. It's been so good to see all these different styles, these different approaches, and just the beauty of being able to share everything you love about your favorite game. It's really nice. All right. Coin Block Blitz. Now, here's the thing. I can steal a star. We're going to see some interesting power plays. But I think I want to bait the AI into stealing a star. Oh. Damn it. I was trying to get underneath underneath and steal some of those coins, but it didn't quite work. I still got the most. Which does put me in second place with best number. But that means Mario's going to steal my star. Where's DK? DK's... It's War Wario's nearby. DK gets the 20 coins. Which now puts DK in the lead and put, paints the target on his back. Mario gets another 10 and should be stealing DK's star. So DK is closing in on my coin star lead. It can be super hard to get all the... So, what... It's turn 18. Wario will be... Should steal off Mario, ideally. Or he'll go for DK because DK's got more coins. At least you'd think. So he's gone for Mario. Decisions, decisions. What is the logical course of action? Do I save up my coins? Well, that's a good roll. It's It avoids the mushroom. So, I think what I want to do is protect my coin star lead for a little while longer. Okay, so that gives me some breathing room. And the next mini game. Tipsy Tawny, I can win this, but it depends on the controls. The difference between the Switch controller and the N64 controller can be a little fiddly at times. So I need to bring it this way. Oh no, too tight. Bring it down. I think I won. Yes, I won, <laughs> somehow. But yeah, some of the older controllers, they had that little bit more give. Now that was a smart move because that's going to protect my coin star lead in the long run and I think I'm going well in the mini game star too. I'm equal on happening. DK gets a minus block. But he can go after the star. Mario's en route to the star as well. Let's see. Wario... What are we going to get? DK getting that minus block did kind of help me as far as the... Uh, Wario's found a hidden block. And he's got Bowser. He's in last. And he just loses 20 coins. 
and we get the line again. At least this board has produced a lot of dough I missed. And I got a slow ball. And a one. Look, game. Can I have some words with you, game? I don't need any help in rolling ones. I can do them naturally. Ah, treasure divers. Good. I can gun for some big money here. So, I've got... I, I think I made the smart play for longer term... I made a smart longer term play by stealing coins from DK. Because that allows me... It basically allows me to protect the coin star lead and build on it. And that's going to be an important strategy. Playing for bonus stars is extremely beneficial. Alright, so I think I did alright. I got at least 10 coins. How do we all fit on that ship anyway? It should be sinking. 13 coins, nice. That ship really should be sinking. Okay, good coin star lead. DK Mario has to go around the long way and he's got the happening space. So Mario is going to be short three coins. Even in the limited expressiveness of the N64, you can just see that expression of... What? I and Easily my favourite example of that is in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series when uh, Crump is possessing Taya's body and uh, Mecha Nesbitt is complaining about human mating rituals and, Cr and Crump in Taya's body claims they're actually a penguin. Robotic Knight is expressionless, but Little Karibo's delivery is just so perfect, you can practically see the sceptical look, the raised eyebrow on Robotic Knight's face as it delivers the deadpan. What? It's just perfect. It always comes to mind when I think of that sort of, what are you on about? That just, what just happened? Is this turn 21? I keep losing track of the turns because so many shenanigans are happening. So the gates, has Wario cut the star off? That's a smart move. It's a warp block. Who am I warping with? DK. Okay. So we're cut off from the star. Skateboard scamper. I can't believe it's only... T th this section isn't over. Good God. It's, it, it's been anarchy. It's broken me. It's broken me into tiny whimpering pieces and then put me back together. Obviously they had just the right person in the infirmary. Warrior's fallen behind a bit, but is, ca is caught up in no time because apparently nobody falls behind in this. The Switch is at least better at registering button mashing. Mario won this time arbitrarily. The Switch is at least better at button mashing than the, than the Wii U gamepad. Alright, 120. So, like I said, I've set up a good, good coin star lead. So, this bit. Yep, turn 21. Now, what happens here? I would need somebody to hit a happening space. Or I'd need to roll really badly. So, I mean, I know Mario's going to steal off me. Because I'm in the, I'm in second and I have a good coin star lead. DK is going to steal a star, though. So, I did set a good mark. 
I have to plan- I have- you have to plan a lot around the fact that people will very easily loop to Boo. Oh no! Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't like that omen. I do not like that omen. I'm involved! Warrior's involved! Of course! I mean, one of my chance times, the only time I landed on chance time, I buggered it up. I don't... Oh... Game! Right. Okay, now I need to... Alright, now. Damn, this is... I think I need to jump on DK's face. Yes! DK has no stars, does he? Two out of three shot. What? Well, at least I can roll for this. That was mean. Well, let's let we might as well jump. At least I'm a shot at getting the star on the board. I would love it if one of them would burn their ass so that the rest of us would get coins. But I think they're a bit too smart for that. They deliberately have to screw up. Which is the case with a lot of these things. Some things you only win... Like, you don't ever win a fighting game. Not truly. The AI makes sub-optimal decisions. 